you know, for the negative that comes back at you, it's it's a fraction of the good yeah. that you're putting out there by, yeah. by being a voice. You have no idea. Because remember, and I have a theory about this one in five, one in four, whatever stat you want to use, a stat is not reality. Because especially in mental health, you're asking people to put up their hand, right? I mean, a mental illness. it's hard enough to go for therapy, right? Let alone put up your hand. Put up your hand and say, I am struggling. Yeah. But the truth is we all do. And we all do at some point. So my twist on that stat is that, you know, one in four uh, have the courage. Or one in five have the courage to put up their hand and be counted. Yeah. You know? Uh, so, and then there's men, there's mental illness. I mean, I've been diagnosed with uh, panic disorder, uh, mild PTSD and depression. Uh, but you can have mental illness and still have good mental health. Yeah. You know, I'm what, getting to that situation now. Yeah, where I have, you I, I actually have a diagnosis. I'm not going to say I'm always going to be in this Dave set of mind, but to me, stability is, is success. Yes. But... In anything in life, yeah, stability is success, right? It's like the uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? You yeah. have to feel secure, s- s- you know, stable, uh, and that could be with your physical health too, yeah, right. So, and bravo, you're doing all the things, Lisa. You're doing all the things, and you're talking about it. You're you are a participant in your mental health journey. 